Hello booktube and welcome to weekly reads. Assuming I ever get this video up, um, I'm just, this week as far as filming videos for YouTube has been concerned, has been a nightmare. I just have struggled getting any videos I want to do. Um, part of it is I want to do some types of videos that would take a lot more work than I'm thinking I really want to put into it. And also as far as writing videos are concerned, I really would like to to have more progress to report. I'm still struggling with figuring out what exactly Akarsha the Sorcerer should be. I know right now it really should not be a novel. It's probably a short story, which, given that it is sword and sorcery, is probably about the right length. Um, I've also thought about uh, trying to write it as a comic book script. And, I mean, of course, there are um, challenges there. Um, I'm not really all that great of an artist. Well, I'm... An okay beginner when it comes to pastel. I really should uh, spend more time working on it. Um, but when it comes to drawing, I'm not really all that great. Well, I kind of sort of suck at it. Um, I really need to uh, work significantly more on that. And of course, also trying to find an artist. But anyway, setting that aside, and I might talk about those in a future comic book related video and uh, another weekly reads when I hopefully have a lot better progress to report. Um, so moving on, I haven't cooked anything else from the uh, new Spanish table lately. We got some groceries in on Wednesday, but um, I haven't really gotten around to uh, make, doing any of those dishes. I am planning on making uh, lemon bars or lemon squares uh, tomorrow for a dessert. Um, anyway, so I've only been reading one book this week and really I've been luxuriating in it. It has been amazing. And that book is These Truths by Joel Lepore. Um, I'm reading this for um, the Summer School Readathon, hosted by Doris of All the Books. And this book is for the history requirement. And again, I have just been luxuriating in this book for the better part of a week. Um, I will finish it on Sunday, I'm pretty sure. I have about a little less than 300 pages to go. But this book is amazing, and I'm loving every minute of it, which is interesting because when I first read the book uh, or dipped into it a few years ago I didn't particularly care for it um, I bounced off of it and now I'm just enjoying every moment of it I don't want it to end and that's I think quite curious how books that I might not have gotten on with in years before and that now I'm absolutely loving and I am seriously loving this book. Um, it really makes me want to do a deep dive into so many subjects in American history, particularly um, the history of uh, racism and uh, feminism and all of that. Uh, so yeah, I'm really, really enjoying this book and I will be sad when it's over. But anyway, so I will give more thoughts on it next week when I uh, finish. Um, I'm really enjoying a lot of how um, Jill Lepore structures the book, um, what she focuses on. Um, I mean, she does leave a lot out, which, given the nature of the subject, is inevitable. I mean, things will be left out. But what she includes has been absolutely amazing. I've been loving every minute of it. And I honestly cannot understand why I did not love this book when I read it a few years ago. Hmm. 
So anyway, or read bits of it. But anyway, it's typical of me. And it probably also was, I mean, it was a library book and I probably picked up five or six other library books. And yeah, when that happens, I do tend to get incredibly um, impatient with my books. So yeah, sometimes I think I really should just, yeah, read what I own because I'm significantly more patient with them. But anyway, as of right now, I am absolutely loving These Truths by Joe Lepore. So, that will, so continuing on with These Truths, I will probably finish it on Sunday. And then if I have enough time, I'll probably read uh, an issue of National Geographic. So that leads me to what will I be reading on Monday? Um... Uh, and then going on through the rest of the week. Right now, I have two options that I'm leaning towards. Um, option one is A History of the Arab Peoples by Albert Harani. Um, I picked this up from Golden's Book Exchange two or three years ago. And I've been meaning to get to it, and I think now is the time to get to it. Um, my other option is, are two books. Um, Deborah Chester's The Pearls. Um, Deborah Chester is the author of the fantasy fiction formula, uh, a major uh, guide to writing fantasy. And obviously it would behoove me to really read her writing advice in practice, which is through her own work. So. Um, this is one of her novels, and I haven't read any of her work, and I've been meaning to. So yeah, about time I finally break down to read it. And then I also want to read um, a Stony the Road by Henry Louis Gates Jr. That bookmark does not want to stay in. Anyway, so yeah, this is his big uh, recent study of Reconstruction of White Supremacy and the Christ, Rise of Jim Crow. So looking forward to getting to this too. So I'm not entirely sure who I will start on on Monday. Um, what I might do is do like a history of the Arab peoples and then over the weekend try to get um, the Pearl and the Pearls and uh, Stony the Road read. And then the following week figure that out then. But anyway, so what else have I been doing? Um, I've been doing a lot of um, watching videos on YouTube. Um, not as much uploading as I would like. Um, this week has been rather a struggle filming videos. I mean, there are a lot of videos I, w I want to make, but I want to actually do proper research to actually do them as a sort of um, video paper or a video essay, but I don't know if I really want to devote as much of the, of the work into it, particularly given that it is, yeah, the pandemic and um, the lack of availability of research materials, whether or not I can do justice to the subjects. So anyway, so we'll wait and see. Um, I think next week I'm going to be doing a lot more tags. Um, as I know I think there's a Steve Donahue tag I want to do. He did a like a 28 questions tag a few years ago. I want to do a few of uh, Josh's of a literary grad ladies, his um, some of his foodie book tags I want to do. There's a sword and sorcery tag. Um, that I don't think I've ever done. I knew, again, I need to go and check. And then hopefully I will have a writing update this coming week. And then I might, might uh, fold in some thoughts on comics and yeah. Anyway, so yeah, I'll leave it at that and pretty much end my weekly reads here. Hopefully next week I will have more better, oh, sorry, 
I've tried to make this video about 10 times and it's I'm kind of exhausted with it so hopefully this is the last time I film this video and I will see you uh, next week have a great weekend please stay safe and I will see you in the next video thank you booktube